Thanks for joining us for the Hobie Mirage Passport 10.5 Quick Start video. This video is going to walk you through all the pre-assembly pieces that you need to put together and also point out some of the great features that the Passport has for you. Your Mirage Drive comes disassembled for the best packing inside the hull. Before you hit the water, you'll have to put the cranks onto the drive and this is how you do it. First, you need to locate your right and left paddle. And these are identified by having an R and L on the pedal strap. I'm going to start first by installing the right pedal. So with the drive in this position, you'll notice that there's a pulley right here, and this is the front of the drive. I'm going to take the right pedal, squeeze the adjuster, and put it inside that slot. The bolt here is gently installed in there, so I'm gonna back it out just a little bit. And remove it. By squeezing on this, I can press the crank the rest of the way in until the hole aligns. Once the hole's aligned here, I'll reinstall the bolt. And then I'll drive the bolt back in using a 9 16 wrench. You're going to want to get the bolt nice and tight, but not too tight so that you still can't adjust the drive. To test this, you simply squeeze here and make sure that you're able to move this back and forth freely. I'm going to repeat this process on the other side and install the left pedal. You'll notice here that I actually installed this one too tight so that when I squeeze it, I can't move the adjuster. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back it off a little bit. And the adjuster moves freely. And your drive is built and ready to go in the water. The next and final part of your passport pre-assembly is installing the rudder. For this, we're gonna identify two parts. We have our rudder assembly, and then we have the transom area of the boat with the steering rod coming out the back. To install the rudder, place it on the stern of the boat and then use the provided screws and mount it to the top of the boat like this. When doing the installation, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use a hand screwdriver and not a power screwdriver. Great, now your rudder's installed to the kayak. To attach the steering system, we're gonna insert this rod into the steering pivot on the rudder assembly. So you're gonna make sure that the knob is loose, and then you're gonna slide the rod right into the part. Now to trim the installation, there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to watch. One is that the rudder is down and straight and also that the steering handle is straight as well. Once both of those two pieces are straight, you tighten down the bolt, and your system's good to go. One thing over time is that you may find that the rudder needs to be tuned, and that your steering handle is straight, but you may be slightly turning to the right or to the left. So what you're gonna wanna do to make adjustments is simply loosen this knob, look at the orientation of your steering handle, and just make small adjustments back here and re-tighten down. And this will allow you to easily trim your steering system. Installing the chair on your passport is super easy. Simply drop the seat into the kayak, snap over the locking lever, and attach the seat straps to the pad eyes on the hull. Something to watch out for is that there's another set of webbing loops here. These are for beach chair configuration only. So when you're using it on the kayak, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to snap these hooks to the pad eyes right here. Once you sit in the seat, you can adjust it for comfortability using the ladder lock buckle system that's over here. The Passport out of the package comes installed with a cassette plug. Before you install the drive, you're gonna to wanna to remove this plug. To take it out, you pull back on the levers 
and lift it straight up. Now, if you want to use the Passport as a paddle kayak, you're going to want to make sure and install this plug. And what that's going to do is it's going to prevent water from coming up and surging through this hole. To install the Mirage Drive into the Passport, simply lower it into the well, making sure that the pulley is facing forward, and just drop it straight down. Now, when it's locked in, it automatically locks these cams on the side so the drive can't come out. To take it out, you pull back on each lever and lift it straight up. And the cams automatically reset so that you're ready for putting the drive in again. So the Passport is designed to accommodate a variety of different size peddlers. In order to accommodate different sizes, we have adjustability built into the Mirage Drive. To do this, simply squeeze in on the lever and then move to the pedal position that's most comfortable for you, making sure that the pedal on each side is adjusted into the same number position. So when getting the drive into the right adjustment for you, you want to make sure that when you're pedaling, that your legs are not fully extended and your knees are locked out, that when your leg is fully straight, that you have a slight bend at the knee. This will be most comfortable for you. When coming to the beach, we have a retainer system which helps keep the fins kicked up as you approach the shore. Simply take this hook and attach it over the crank. And this holds the pedal back and the fins in the up position. So before shoving off into the water, one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure to remember to do is lower your rudder. And this is done simply on the beach or on the dock where you take the rudder and you flip it down and it's ready to go. Now this design is spring-loaded so that if you hit any obstruction, it'll kick up and then reset itself. And as you come into the beach, the rudder will come up as you come to shore. And then when you're ready to transport or store the kayak, simply flip it up and you're good to go. The Passport comes with a two-piece paddle and a paddle holder built on the side of the kayak. When you want to store it when you're on the water, simply put it on the side of the kayak and stretch the bungee over the hook here. And your paddle is held firmly to the side of the kayak. The Passport paddle has three different adjustments, a central location and a feathering location, depending on your preference. Now that your kayak's assembled and ready for the water, we're gonna walk through some key features on this kayak that are gonna let you get the most out of it. In the front, we have a bow storage area with a tube receptacle here. This works great for the bimini option to keep you out of the sun and out of the rain. Moving a little bit further back, we have an eight inch twist and seal hatch that allows you to put stuff inside of the kayak when you're on the water. On the sides, we have two track mounting systems. At the back, we have a large cargo area with crisscross bungees and two scuppers, which allow for plug-in carts. Plug-in carts make transportation really easy on land. Thanks for joining us for the Hobie Passport Quick Start video. Please make sure to refer to your owner's manual for important safety tips and other details on the assembly. For more information about the Hobie Passport or other Hobie kayaks, visit hobie.com or your local retailer.